It's the 2022 season, and it's the start of Picks with David. Thanks for joining me. Today on this program, we're going to discuss the preseason predictions for all the divisions, the playoffs that are coming up after that, and who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. So let's begin with the overall standings. Taking a look at the standings as I have them, I uh, went through the overall schedule of the season. Uh, you know, of course, this is just my opinion, but, you know, you've got new coaches, you've got new faces in new places with the free agency, the draft, you know, the possibility of injury. I'm a little concerned about a few players in a couple different divisions. Uh, you know, the overall strength of schedule is going to be a big deal in the AFC Conference for sure. And so let's start by breaking down each division. And we're going to begin with the AFC East. In the AFC East, as you can see, I got the Buffalo Bills going 11 and 6 with the number three seed. The thing that concerns me the most is Ken Dorsey is the new offensive coordinator for Buffalo. And so, you know, it may take them a little time, even though they're running the same system, for, uh, you know, him and his team to get on the same page. As far as New England goes, you know, I have them coming back to earth a little bit here. You know, they, they don't have a whole lot of weapons offensively. Um, you know, I understand that Matt Jones is a good quarterback, but the overall... Uh, you know, the difficulty of their schedule. And their division is starting to come up. Miami is going to be improved, not nearly as improved as some people think they will be, but because of their difficulty of schedule, you can see them at 7 and 10. I like the Jets. They're starting to make some moves. Uh, Wilson, you know, I think, you know, if he could just stay healthy, they've got a great running game. They're going to have a two-headed monster this year. They have a few weapons to get the ball down the field to now, especially with Garrett Wilson. I like them at 6 and 11. So we'll go now to the AFC North. And in here, you can see I've got Cincinnati and Pittsburgh both making the playoffs. You know, uh, Cincinnati really improved their offensive line. That's going to be a big help for them this season, especially with the tough schedule that they're looking forward to. Uh, for Pittsburgh, you know, I don't think it's going to matter much whether or not they start Trubisky early or if they go straight away to pick it. They're going to rely on their running game. They improved their offensive line, and Najee Harris is going to really break out this year. Baltimore, they just don't have any weapons to throw the ball to, with the exception of Mark Andrews. You know, I mean, you could see Rashad Bateman maybe do something here. You know, but, uh, you know, they traded away Marquise Brown. Uh, there's a possibility that they run a lot of double tight end sets. Isaiah likely looked really good in preseason. And as for Cleveland, you know, they're, they're going to have no Deshaun Watson through most of the year. Jacoby Brissett is not the answer at quarterback. And with such a tough schedule and such a rough division, they're going to end up at 5-12. and 12. Going into the AFC South now, you're going to see the Indianapolis Colts win the division over last year's number one seed, the Tennessee Titans. Who will make the playoffs? But I'm really concerned about Derrick Henry. You know, he got hurt last year, and once a running back gets injured, you know, it just seems like they're on the downside of their career. Only Adrian Peterson ever came back from a major injury and broke out with an MVP season at running back. And so, you know, I like Matt Ryan going into Indianapolis. I think they win the division. He's got a lot of weapons to get the ball to. A better presence in the locker room than Carson Wentz. Jacksonville's going to be on the come up here, you know, with uh, Doug Peterson as head coach. I think Trevor Lawrence, you know, last year, he just didn't have any coaching. Urban Meyer was not the answer in any way, shape, or form. They needed a pro coach, and here they've got a Super Bowl winning coach now. Houston is, of course, Houston, probably going to have the worst record in the AFC. 
That takes us to the most loaded division in the AFC, which of course is the AFC West. That takes us to the most loaded division here. Of course, you're, took, you're looking at the AFC West. You've got the Kansas City Chiefs, who I think a lot of people are counting them out because they lost Tyreek Hill. But they replaced him exceptionally well with a group of receivers. You know, Russell Wilson comes into Denver. They're going to make the playoffs. Uh, the Chargers always seem to be a little disappointing. They're sure going to make a run for it. They're going to be in the thick of things. And, you know, the Raiders may be an even better team than they were last year, especially with Devontae Adams coming in. But just their, the strength of the division, the strength of the conference, I think that they're just going to run into some problems, and that's why I have them at the bottom of the division. We'll move to the NFC now and the NFC Eastern Division. Now, I've got the Dallas Cowboys as the number two seed because of, I think they got just a bit of a weak schedule when it comes to some of the play teams that they're going to play. It doesn't mean they're going to be the second best team in the NFC this year. You know, uh, a lot of people are hyping up the Philadelphia Eagles, but they're facing nearly the same schedule, and it's going to be a rough go this season. Once again, the NFC East has been the worst division in the NFC the last several years. I know each team is trying to improve, rebuild at the lower part of the division. The Giants are going to have the number one pick in the NFL draft this next year. They will jettison Daniel Jones, and they'll start over fresh with the number one pick probably being a quarterback. Uh, I think Carson Wentz is going to have some success in Washington, but, uh, you know, once again, tough schedule. I think injuries are going to be a factor here. I think that's going to be a factor around the league. You know, it's a long season now, 17 games. But this is how I see the NFC East. In the NFC North, some people may call me a bit of a homer because I am a Minnesota Viking fan. But I think coaching really matters. When you had a coach that didn't like his quarterback and they wanted to, you know, play it safe all the time, you know, you're going to be held back. And, you know, Minnesota, for as many changes as they made in the head coaching and the front office and everything, they didn't make a lot of changes to the roster because that's how good they felt about their roster. You know, Rick Spielman did an excellent job of bringing in talent. I think Green Bay is going to have some, some, some troubles this year. They're going to fall back a little bit because, you know, they were really reliant on Devontae Adams to make a lot of big plays. They also lost Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And so you're going to have a group of young receivers, and they're going to struggle from time to time. But Green Bay is still going to be in the playoffs. They'll still be in the thick of it. Here's the big surprise, the Detroit Lions, you know, Everybody is always down on the Lions, you know, that they're not going to do well and that, uh, you know, they're going to have troubles. I've been watching them on hard knocks, you know, and I like the coach. You know, he says some crazy things, but he's got his players on his side. And I think that they've added some really good talent. Aiden Hutchinson on defense. I've seen Rodrigo, you know, in there from hard knocks. You know, so they got some defensive help. Eventually, they're going to get Jamison Williams in the games at wide receiver. But uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, I think, is an underrated player at receiver. Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl. You know, he didn't necessarily win it, but he did get a team there. I like the coaching here. I think they can make the playoffs and win out in as the seventh seed. As far as Chicago goes, they just don't have enough weapons. You know, uh, they got a an offensive team with a defensive, you know, head coach. They needed an offensive mind to bring in and, and really give Justin Fields the opportunity to grow. But now it's going to be reliant on an offensive coordinator that nobody knows and in the hopes that they can put some things together and make him a better team. But I don't see Chicago going anywhere this year.
NFC South, you've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to hold serve in their division. While I think that the offense for the Ram or the uh, the New Orleans Saints are going to look really good this year. You know, they added a lot of receivers both through the draft and free agency. You got Jarvis Landry and Chris Olave coming in. Michael Thomas should be healthy. And I think that uh, you match it with that defense, they're just going to have some hard luck. If they have any injuries, you know, they're going to be playing a tough schedule for an NFC team. They're, uh, you know, they're just going to miss out on the playoffs. But uh, Tampa Bay is going to slide a little bit. You know, they're not the same team that they were a couple years ago. And it has nothing to do with the age of Tom Brady. We know he can get it done. Baker Mayfield with the Carolina Panthers, you know, I just don't think they have enough playmakers. And I think that while the offense will be improved for Carolina, the defense may slide down. Atlanta is looking to get an early pick in the draft. I think that uh, they may, you know, already have their quarterback in the future when it comes to Desmond Ritter on their team. He just needs to grow and learn behind Marcus Mariota. I think they'll have a decent season, but obviously not a winning one. Finally, we're going to go to the NFC West. And here you'll see, I think the San Francisco 49ers are really going to surprise this year. I like Trey Lance. They're going to have a really strong running game. They've got playmakers all over the field on both offense and defense. The reason L.A. slips here, no Odell Beckham Jr. I'm worried about the elbow for Matt Stafford. I think injuries will come into play this year for the team. Not going to have a repeat champion this year, but they'll make the playoffs with the five seed. Uh, Arizona, just inconsistent at the end of the season, and I think it's going to happen again. Uh, actually, seven wins for Seattle. You know, I think it'll be a, a, a kind of a hodgepodge of quarterback play there. We'll see some Geno Smith for a few weeks. We'll see some Drew Locke. But in the end, neither one is going to be the quarterback of the future. To that team. So now let's look at the AFC playoffs and uh, as you can see here I've got the two seed Cincinnati is actually going to fall to Russell Wilson in Denver. I think the Colts can get past the Tennessee Titans. Buffalo is going to win against Pittsburgh. Kansas City ends up falling to the Buffalo Bills finally in the AFC playoffs. Now I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan but Buffalo is due, and I think that they are going to take it all the way to the Super Bowl here this season. Then we'll go over here to the NFC playoffs. You can see that I think Detroit comes into the playoffs. Dallas is going to be hurt near the end of the season. Detroit's actually going to surprise Dallas. They'll choke like normal in the playoffs. Minnesota actually makes it to the next round. Uh, gets past the Rams, and then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here, you know, get past the Green Bay. But as you can see, I've got the San Francisco 49ers beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC Championship, and that's going to bring us to the Super Bowl matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. And so I've got the Bills versus the 49ers in the Super Bowl. And if that matchup comes to uh, fruition, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills to win the Super Bowl this year in Arizona. So there you have it. There is my picks with David for this season as uh, we go forward here. Uh, looking forward to my weekly videos. I hope you'll join me with my brand new format here. Thank you all, and we'll see you real soon for the upcoming season.